So welcome um, again to our, this evening's musky chat. Um, we all appreciate you guys joining us this evening. Um, we have a special treat for you um, in that we have um, our colleagues here at Xavier, um, Bill from Auxiliary Services and Barb um, from US Bank. So they're here to talk with you guys a little bit about um, some of the services that they provide to Xavier students here on campus. Um, so they will you know, give you guys a short and brief presentation this evening. Um, and then we will also, of course, have, as always, we'll give you the opportunity to ask any questions that you may have um, moving throughout the presentation. Don't hesitate as we're going through to start um, typing those into the chat function. Um, so I will turn it over to you guys, if you don't mind introducing yourself, and we'll get started. Great. Thank you very much. My name is Bill Moran. I'm with Auxiliary Services. And I'm Barb Sugatan, and I'm and uh, I'm going to do the first half of the uh, presentation tonight, uh, and then I'm going to pass it over to Barb. Um, I think each of our sections is about 10 minutes or so in length. Um, we'll give you some good information, and then, uh, as Sarah said, we'll give you plenty, plenty of time to uh, have important questions and get everything answered that you want. Um, so, auxiliary services is a pretty large department. Uh, we do a lot of things. Uh, one of the um, uh, slides that I look at the end of my deck will kind of gloss over all of the things we do, but focus of what I'm going to talk to you uh, today about is going to be about our campus ID card, the Xavier All card, and um, we're also going to talk um, primarily about a lot of the uh, functions of it, including uh, the banking piece, and Barb will touch on the banking relationship and how the card works for that too. <clears throat> so the um, campus uh, all, uh, ID card is the All card. It's a, a multi-function card, does uh, absolutely everything you can think of on campus. It's the name All, it does All. It doesn't do something, let us know, and we'll try to add it on there. Um, but uh, it is a, uh, again, a multi-purpose card. You use it to access uh, different facilities on campus, services, uh, debit accounts, and such. So you'll use it to uh, access the library, your library sort of resources, the um, rec sports center to go work out or use the pool, uh, athletic events, student activity events, all those types of things. Um, card is uh, also used uh, to access your meal plan. So whatever meal plan you may have purchased or considering purchasing, um, the card is your um, access for that. So there will be a certain aspect of it that you can access in our cafeteria, the off dining commons, uh, as well as uh, a different aspect of it that you can access in our retail food locations. Uh, but, uh, this card is your membership card here. Uh, the card is also used for security on campus, uh, so it is, uh, for the most part, your key to your buildings. So, uh, you won't be, for most people on campus will not be issued uh, traditional brass keys, it'll be their card, it'll be activated when you get here for whatever building and room <laughs> that you live in. Uh, so you use that to kind of go from your place of residence, and you'll you also use it for uh, various after hours and uh, weekend types of accesses to different buildings on campus that uh, once they lock up, you may have someone in the back limited access to their after to things like our student uh, union, gallery, food center, um, learning commons, library, things like that. Buildings are locked up and you'll be able to swipe your card and get into them so that as well. Um, the card is also um, optionally can be used um, as a US bank um, ATM or debit card. So if you uh, do choose to, uh, to bank with US bank and need retail banking services on campus, or if you bank with them already, um, that is a, an exclusive uh, feature of the all card to connect it to a US bank um, uh, checking account, savings account, and uh, access your fund through your campus. It's a nice feature um, for uh, people that are US bank customers. We're actually going to stop you one moment. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure that because you're saying a lot of good information and we are still having sound issues. And so I apologize.
does not want to. All right, is that any better? Volume is better, okay. What, what are you hearing? Is it sounding muffled or is it sounding distorted? It sounds a lot clearer right now. Okay, distorted, it's better, okay. Okay. Clear, muffled, distorted, agreed. Okay. So for this standpoint, uh, at this time, if you guys could just speak a little louder, um, this is having problem picking you up right now is what we're perhaps struggling with. But thank you for bearing with us. I uh, apologize for the delay. We'll get right back into it. Bill, <laughs> thank you for bearing with us and taking that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we'll just speak up and we'll go from there. Okay. Great. Well, I'll, I'll take, it to, take it a little bit from the top again. Uh, so the card is a multi-function card I'm used for all kinds of access and services on campus. Library access, rec sports access, um, athletic events, student activity events. Um, you can use it for uh, accessing your meal plan on campus, um, any place uh, you go in terms of uh, retail food or the uh, off dining commons uh, to access your meal plan. This card will access that for you. Um, I talked a little bit about uh, the card being used as you are key to campus. So you use the card to swipe in and out of your dorm, your uh, Apartment or dorm room. Uh, you'll use it for after hours access to different facilities like the library and uh, student union. Uh, card can also be used as a uh, ATM or a debit card. If you're a customer of US Bank, that's an option that we can uh, uh, tie in for you uh, only with that bank. So if you're a customer or considering uh, becoming a customer, that's a, one that we can add on for you. The uh, card uh, is also uh, has some value off campus as well. We've uh, accumulated a list of businesses that we post on our website where uh, they're uh, Xavier friendly, let's say. So if you show your student ID card at these businesses, they get some kind of discount off of uh, goods or services. So it's not tied to payment, it's just more of a courtesy program. Uh, and the card is also used uh, to access what's called the uh, X Cash account. Uh, that's what I talk about next. This is a uh, on campus. Uh, debit account um, that you can uh, use to uh, for casual spending on campus. Uh, just swipe your card and access the spending power in that account so that um, you don't need to use cash or credit cards on campus. Uh, so uh, XCash is used, is accepted uh, absolutely everywhere on campus where you can spend money. So um, retail operations, uh, bookstore, food, mail center, uh, unattended things like vending machines, Laundry machines, copy machines. Um, you just swipe your all card and the uh, transaction occurs out of that account with that X Cash in there. Um, the X Cash program also has uh, some value off campus. We have a small off campus program with about, uh, I believe, about 10 merchants on there right now, um, but some, some big name brands uh, CVS, uh, Chipotle, Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, Raiders Ice Cream, uh, several others. So. Um, if you're off campus, we have these neighborhood locations. You can swipe your card there, and uh, it'll come on your extension as well, even if you're off campus. Um, if, uh, if anybody's seen the, uh, the screenshot online, um, this is uh, the mobile uh, web uh, version of the uh, um, online card services website. So we have a full, a full uh, website where you can log in, uh, manage your account. See the last six months of account, six months of account history. Um, deposits, transaction history, um, you can control the functionality of your card so if you have to lose it, you can go online uh, using this website and uh, deactivate your card until you find it and you can go back there and reactivate your card. So you never have to talk to our office and you can manage that whole suite of services um, with a full uh, web browser where you can uh, do it if you just uh, are on your mobile device. We have a scalable website that will uh, take that right to your cell phone function in a pretty normal manner. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is um, the uh, process for getting your all card. So first step is um, getting a photo to us. So uh, you have the choice to send in a, a, a photo of your choosing. Uh, we provide um, in the right inside the road to Xavier a link to upload your photo and a few guidelines on what that photo should look like. Um, what I would say is the key, key to the photo is um, not to try to resize it or edit it in any way. Um, just send us the original photo, no matter how large or, or actually the larger the better. The smaller ones are a little difficult for us to use. So 
you have something just set in the original size that unedited and um, you know we'll, we'll edit it if necessary so uh, pretty standard formats, JPEG or bitmap formats are acceptable. Um, the um, key for submitting this uh, through the road to Xavier this summer is so that we can produce your all card before you get here. So what we want to do is have a photo produce the card so that when you arrive to campus, we can hand that card to you because as you've already heard, there's so many services tied to the card, uh, meals, door access, things like that, that you're going to need to do the card immediately start getting in and out of your building and accessing things. So we want to be able to hand you the card. So um, we do need people to get photos in. The earlier the better. Um, the road Xavier is up and that functionality is there already. Um, we've gotten several hundred of them in. So I just encourage you to get them in. We need to get uh, many, many more. Um, uh, there will be some significant delays, I would expect, if you don't send it in ahead of time, if you wait till Manresa and then come in and have to uh, find our office and get your photo taken. Um, it's going to delay some of your services. So, And you won't get the photo that you necessarily um, choose. You'll get the one that uh, we can take of you that day. So uh, send it in early, have choice, and we'll be you no know, uh, waiting in line and no um, delay in services. Um, next slide is um, a little bit more about auxiliary services. I mentioned that our department does uh, quite a bit of things outside of the all card. Uh, these are uh, some bullet points of some other things that we do. We do our campus bookstore, we do a lot of the retail operations on campus, um, consumer banking services, which Barbara's going to talk to you a little bit more about. Um, we do dining services, so anything with uh, food, meal plans, retail dining, um, all of our unattended services, so copy machines, laundry machines, vending machines, um, all of that. Um, I can answer anything related to those things. Mailing services, so our campus post office, um, shipping and receiving packages, um, parking services on campus. Um, so getting a parking permit to uh, park in the uh, commuter lots, residential lots, what have you, if you're planning on bringing a car. Um, I can answer any questions about um, uh, rules and regulations and uh, permit pricing and things like that. And uh, that is uh, about it. I don't think there's anything else, at least not yet. <laughs> Tomorrow might be different. Um, I'm going to close it out with uh, just a few action items that you might want to uh, consider just taking away from what we talked about. The real important things for, for us for you to do this summer, um, if nothing else, is to submit that photo online. Again, you want to have that ready for you when you move in. So please get that in. Um, I would say at least a, at least a week prior to Manresa. But again, there's no delay. You can send that in today. You don't have to um, another thing is uh, log, trying to log into that um, XCash online card services account. Um, make sure you can, if you don't want to make a deposit, that's fine because you're not going to be able to use the, the monies until you get here on campus anyway. But uh, log in, make sure you can access the, uh, the services, um, kind of poke around, see what kind of features are there. I encourage you to do that. And then um, after you hear what Barbara has to talk about, I encourage you to, to check into the um, the U.S. Bank uh, debit card feature and all the student checking accounts and uh, see what uh, suite of services uh, our uh, professional staff can provide for you here on campus. So just uh, do your diligence and see if that's something that you can do. And I'm going to pass it over to Bob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. All right. So let me just give you a little bit of background, maybe for those of you that have not been very familiar with U.S. Bank. Um, we are the fifth largest bank in the United States, and we have um, over 3,000 branches, um, almost 5,000 ATMs, so pretty, pretty large bank. Here in the Cincinnati area, for those that are, are not from the area, we have about 130 branches here and almost 300 ATMs, so a um, pretty, pretty decent market share here in the Cincinnati area. Um, U.S. Bank and Xavier, we actually began our partnership back in 1996, so it's been about 20 years, so we're really Proud to be a part of a partner with the you here and be on campus here. Um, we do have a full service branch located here in the Gallagher Student Center. Um, we are open five days a week. Um, we do have four ATMs located across campus in, in a, one in the Smith Business Hall, uh, residential mall. We have one in um, the dining hall, and then of course one in Gallagher uh, in the Student Center there. Um, we do offer, as Bill had mentioned earlier, a, a student checking account that uh, we offer you to the Xavier students, and it really is a great account. There are no monthly maintenance fees involved in the account. Um, there are no minimum balance required. 
environment, and so it, it, it is a pretty decent account for students. It's pretty, there's no frills to it, but it's pretty basic, and it, it definitely is a, a good account for students to have. Um, and then we also do one thing that we are really, uh, I'm really proud of, and I know the bank is too, is that we do really take our responsibility and financial wellness very, um, we take that really to heart. And we do offer quite a few financial wellness seminars here at Xavier throughout um, the school year. Um, we are the only bank here on campus. Uh, the services that we offer, I mentioned, we're full service. We do obviously the deposits, uh, withdrawals, uh, do wire transfers, um, financial education. And what I would like to say to all of you uh, incoming freshmen is that. Um, you know, we'd love you to bank with us, but if you don't, if you bank with another bank and you do have questions about maybe something that you've seen on your account that you're not quite sure what it is, or you're not sure how to, you know, handle the situation, um, please feel free to come into the branch and we, we're definitely there for you to help you and to kind of coach you through that. So it's always keep that in mind of us. And, and I can tell you this year, I, I probably maybe had 20 or 30 um, students come in that have seen something that's occurred on their account. Um, we get questions about it and been able to kind of help them through that. So definitely know that we're there for you. I mentioned a little bit about the financial education. Um, so the U.S. Bank actually does have so many different courses that we do offer to students. Um, ones I've taught here on campus are around budgeting or establishing credit. Um, we talk about identity theft, you know, studying abroad, different different topics that. Um, the university or different departments in the university might choose. Um, so those dates are communicated to you throughout the semester. So you just have to um, watch, you know, watch online, watch for communications when those occur. Or if you do want some one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching or education, you know, please feel free to stop into the branch and we can set that up for you. It is available too, as you can see on the slide. Um, you have access to online tools through usbank.com and then forward slash student union. So there are a number of different modules that you can go through when you go to that site. You can pick and choose what is um, what you might have questions in, what you might need to learn more about. Just a few highlights on the actual student checking account. I mentioned earlier that um, no one thing they can see, no minimum balance requirement. You do have free access to all the U.S. Bank use camps. And then one nice feature about this account is if you are um, traveling and you have to use an ATM that is a non-US bank ATM, you do get four um, withdrawals per statement cycle that US bank does not try to use a on. So it's just kind of a nice feature if you were traveling. Um, we have great mobile and online banking. You can set up to get email alerts, text alerts, you know, balance alerts if your balance falls below a certain amount. So you can really um, do a good job of just kind of safeguarding yourself against anything that might go on with your account that you, that you don't want to. Um, and also, we do offer, if you choose um, to order checks, you can get your first order check um, free. You can pay for those. Um, kind of in the, kind of in the, the Navy where the checks are few and far between, but you should have that option available to you. So if you do choose to set up uh, an account with US Bank, the next step would be you can come into the branch and set it up there. Or you do have the option of setting it up actually on Lumen Day during memory set, and we will have U.S. Bank booths uh, and tables available throughout campus to look for us. It will be um, very visible. Mm -hmm. And then also, you can do it from the convenience of your home by just going to the, the website you send us, which is usbank.com forward slash next year. And I can tell you, there's quite a few students that have done that in the past, and that way it's one less thing that you have to think about um, or do. I'm using the day. All right. And then I think that really wraps it up. And I'll get to the question portion, right? All right. Um, well, if anyone has any questions, feel free to type those into the chat function um, and we will, or our, pan, our lovely panelists will be more than happy to address your questions. And we do have some that were already typed in our Q&A section, which is great. So I'll start us off. The first question is from Alexander. Does the all card have a pin like an ATM card? Um, good question. So uh, it does, um, but the pin is only related to that particular function. Uh, 
uh, being the ATM function. So um, if you do use, uh, if you are a customer of US Bank and you choose to uh, tie your all card into that bank account, then uh, the card or staff will issue you a PIN number and it will be used truly as a pin based debit card. So you can go to an ATM machine, put in your PIN number, and access money out of your checking account, go to a retail uh, operation that is in the Visa network. Isn't that correct? Any, any yes. Any, any. Right. So kind of a good way to think of that card is if you do attach it to your US bank account, we like to tell the students if you're swiping the card and entering the PIN, then you know that those funds are being accessed from your bank account. And if you're swiping the card at you know, Chipotle or wherever and you don't enter a PIN, then you know it's coming out of your bank account. Right. So certain features of the card will be PIN, pin protected, um, others uh, will not. Your ex cash or campus spending account is not, but uh, the cashiers in the various locations will match up your photo to the card and make sure that it's you. And um, that brings up another good point is that um, there's so many functions and uses for the card from the debit account to your meal plan access to the door access that you've probably gathered that you're going to be using this card probably every hour, every couple of hours to do something. So if you lose it, it's not going to be gone for days before you know it. Probably going to be gone for minutes or hours before you know it. Um, so it'll be pretty quick, and you can uh, always go to that online card services website and uh, report the card as lost and turn off the functionality on Zoom. So there's some protections there. Mm -hmm. um, and our next question is from Brooke. Uh, Brooke says that she is starting on August 1st with the radiology program and is wondering if she can get her all card before she starts. Yeah, so um, I'm assuming that she'll be at least on campus having moved in. Uh, I believe we do that. We do have a few groups of early arrivals. Um, I believe that's one program, along with some student athletes and things. So, uh, yeah, if the photo is sent in before that date, um, we can print it and deliver it to you when you arrive to campus, regardless of how we do that. All right, our next question. Can you open an account at your local U.S. bank and then just tie it on the Road to Zader site? Tie it to the account. The account. You can't do that through the site. So if you do open one, like back home at your U.S. bank, what you do want to do when you get to campus and you receive your all card, you want to make sure you come in to the branch or go to one of the U.S. bank tables and let them know that you know, you've got that all card. We'll need that number to be able to attach it to your US bank. So that's something that the branch will need to do for you. Right. So the all card, when you receive it, will have a number printed on the front of it um, that's prepared to be a debit card. So if you open up that account before you get your debit card, the bank at home would be able to make that connection. They don't have that card yet. So you know, once you get the card here on campus, the card said stop by a table at Marisa or stop by the branch in Gallagher and then Mark. And that would be the same for an existing account, correct? Correct. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Um, so our next question is from Missy, um, and she's wondering, um, when living in a residence hall, is there an amount of cash that's automatically put um, in your ex cash or on your all cards? There is, there is not. Um, so there, there's um, a few different debit accounts tied to your all card. Um, so you've already heard that the bank account is one of those potential loans if you're a bank customer. That's one account that you may access with your offer. Um, there is also the XCash one that we talked about. And there's a third one, which is more uh, food related, and that account is called Dining Dollars. So when you uh, purchase your meal plan, which if you are a resident student, you will have a meal plan, and that meal plan will come with some dining dollars. So when the dining dollars are accessible through the um, through the uh, all card. They're used in food locations only, so um, any of our campus retail food operations will take the dining dollars. Uh, but your uh, account by living on campus is not going to have any ex cash. So that's the account is open and active, but it will start from zero in the ex cash. All right. So the next question is it the same PIN number for both the all card and the US banking ATM card? It can be. Mm -hmm. right. We can set that way for you. Simple answer. <laughs> um, all right. Those are the best ones. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, 
So Minty has another question. Um, she says, if you choose to keep your home bank, so Chase, for example, um, can you use that debit card on all things on campus, for example, laundry, vending machines, et cetera, um, just as you would with your all card or with your X cash? Um, so the, um, many of the retail operations on campus, um, like bookstore and food locations, will take um, any kind of a credit card or debit card. Um, Visa, MasterCard, debit card. Um, some of the places on campus where you won't be able to use that directly would be um, some of the smaller things like vending and laundry. Those those um, operations are going to be ex cash only. So. Uh, if you're choosing to use vending and laundry on campus, which if you're a resident, you probably at least do some laundry, uh, you would need to put some money in, into your ex cash account um, from Chase. So you can transfer from your Chase account $20, $50, $100, whatever, uh, from your Chase account to your ex cash so that you can use your all card for some of those things where credit card is not going to. All right, so I have one who said, I just read the fine print of one of the presentation slides regarding the US banking system. It said that the fees for non-routine transactions may apply. Does this mean that if I don't use the services of the bank and don't touch my money, will I still be get charged a transaction fee by the bank? No. I'm assuming that is all that was said. So I would say generally, the only time you would look at, you would be seeing a fee is if um, you request a paper statement, then there is a fee for that. So if you get an online statement, that's no fee. Um, or if it becomes overdrawn, then there would be a fee that would apply. Um, or you use a, let's say you use a non-US bank ATM and you've used it four times already, so you've got four non-fee US bank fee ATM withdrawals. And then you're using it a fifth time, then there would be a, a, a surcharge for that. But not just for uh, non usage, no. is that the question? Yeah, yeah it says we don't do anything. Not use it very much at all. Yeah. No, no. No. All right. Um, so our next question is what things on campus only accept the all card for payment? Um, so that would be they're wondering if that's laundry, vending machines. And things of that nature. Yeah, the, the only item on campus where X cash is the only form of payment is laundry. So laundry has um, no cash payment either. So um, whereas you might go to a vending machine, they don't take credit card in the vending machine, they still take cash. Most other places will too, but um, laundry machines are not going to operate if they don't take credit cards, they're X cash. If I visit the campus branch in July and open an account, can I order my checks at the same time to start the process? Absolutely. Perfect. And that'd probably be a good idea, too. That would be a great idea. Less, <laughs> less crowded. Right, less right. <laughs> That's true. Pretty quiet, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so Jerrica is wondering, can you open a U.S. bank account at home, if they're not from Cincinnati, um, and be able to use it here on campus? Absolutely. Yeah, you can either do it with the local branch at home or you can do it the, the website too that we created for Xavier students. You can do that website as well. USBank.com forward slash Either way. All right. So the next can you load your X card? Assuming all card, but that's okay. Can you load your all card for laundry via a machine in which you feed dollars into? Uh, yes, yeah, great great question. Yeah. So um, in addition to the online services where you can replenish your account from a other account or credit card or what have you, we do have three kiosks on campus that are called transfer stations. So I believe one's in Gallagher, uh, one is by the dining hall, and one is by the uh, all card office uh, where you can walk up, uh, present your all card to identify your account. And then make deposits with either a credit card or cash. You can put dollar bills into the machine and then load it into your next cash account. Um, so Jenny um, says that US Bank doesn't service Michigan. Um, and she's wondering if there are any other supporting bank partnerships that um, those who live in Michigan should know about. 
Does the non-campus bank offer any special programs or opportunities for students who would like to apply for their first credit card? Oh, great. Thank you. Yep. On campus? Okay. Um, what we do offer, U.S. Bank does offer uh, what we did the college credit card, so this is in the college card for starting, um, starting out here to build your credit. Um, and we can definitely give you more information about that if you would like to email me as well. I can send you some information via email. Mm -hmm. And someone also said there are some special, there are some specials at Bank, U.S. Bank going on right now. Seventy-five credit to open an account, seventy-five dollars. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, there are U.S. Bank is offered depending on your market. There are different specials that we will offer at certain points in time throughout the year. So if you do have one that you're aware of that might be a uh, local branch, um, you can definitely go and email and talk to them about that. Just um, make sure that you do indicate them, you need to talk to them about what the best account is for you because um, some of those specials do not apply to a student account. Um, but not to say that you have to have a student account, you can definitely have one of the other types of accounts. You just want to um, talk with your banker to figure out which one. Um, so Missy is wondering if you can tie the all card to any bank or if that's exclusive to U.S. Bank. Yeah, it, it is exclusive to uh, U.S. Bank. So um, while you can replenish the all card from anybody you bank with, you can, you can bank with Chase or Bank of America or what have, what have you, and use, use your bank card to power your next cash account. Um, the only bank that we can directly link the card to to access your bank account is U.S. Bank. All right. So, what happens if you lose your all card? What is the process like? Very, very, very good question. <laughs> uh, so, the the, uh, fir the first card uh, will be waiting for you when you arrive, uh, free of charge. Uh, uh, Replacement cards we can do. Uh, we have a card office in uh, Pembroke Place. Um, replacement cards are twenty dollars, so it's uh, slightly painful, um, uh, but uh, easy to uh, to replace it. Uh, again, one thing I would say is uh, to uh, if you do lose track of it, to make sure you go to that website and deactivate it. So uh, you, you may find it ten minutes later. You may not find it um, for several days. and need to get a replacement, but immediately deactivate the account if you don't know where your card is, um, and then you know, come out for the office and then maybe you can go a small fee, which ends up getting applied to your uh, student versus our account, so no cash in the account. All right. Um, so Gideon is wondering, um, how do you gain much when you keep your money at U.S. Bank? So I'm assuming they're talking about interest. Open an account. Sure. It depends on um, the type of account you have again. So if it is with if you have your account uh, set up as a student checking account, then there's no interest earned on that account. So it's just a you know, basic uh, checking account. But students also here have the options of you know putting money into a savings account, keeping a student account, you know, they might put part of the money aside every every semester. Um, so um, so our next question is from Matthew, um, and he is wondering um, if a parent can deposit money online into the Xavier account for the student um, to use his card to withdraw cash. Yes. Yes. So, um, yeah, so I guess there's a, 
there would be two ways. So um, with the X with the uh, X cash program, the parents can and it's very popular. They can replenish the account online. They can go to the same all card uh, or online card services website, but instead of logging in like you would and then managing your account, um, they would go to um, the guest feature. They would go ahead and click on the uh, uh, guest deposit. And all they would need in addition to what you normally need as a credit card is they would need your student uh, ID number. So that identifies the account that uh, when you sign in as a student, you don't need to because it knows your account once you sign in. So parents going in, they need to put in the account number and then make the deposit. Um, there's also the ability for the student to issue guest access to their account uh, to a parent or grandparent where we then send them a password, a temporary password, to log into their account for the service and then that they wouldn't need that account number once they had it. Um, but the thing to keep in mind with XCash is that it's not a bank account. So with that particular account, you cannot withdraw cash. I know that was part of the question. Mm -hmm. uh, the one feature that you would need to do is have it uh, to withdraw cash. You need to have some kind of a banking relationship like Barb mentioned. Uh, with US Bank there or here, or with another bank that you might name already, and US Bank here doing a transfer between those accounts. Um, with those types of options as well. But the XCash account is uh, not a bank account, it's a university health debit account. So you deposit the money into XCash and you swipe for cash with spending power, but you don't withdraw cash. All right, if you open an account online this month, will the card arrive before Manresa? Your all card? I'm assuming they mean the, the banking card or the US uh, Bank. US bank. Um, yes, yes, it will. If you open the account online and then you indicate that you want a debit card, then it will be mailed to your home. And those get mailed out very quickly. It's usually within seven, seven business days, seven to ten at the most. Those are very quick. And the all cards will not be mailed from the Rosier or the Little of those, they're all handed out in the mail. Um, is there a fee for overdrawing your account, or is there a way to stop the card from being overdrawn? Okay, that's a good question. Um, and if you do overdraw your account, um, is there is a fee that usually applies? Um, if it's overdrawn it's less than five dollars, then there's no fee. But then if it's more than that, there is a fee. Um, you do have everybody with their debit card when you select that you want a debit card. You do have a choice to make on how you want that card to work. Um, when, you, when you're swiping the card, you know, if you don't have the funds available in your account, you can choose to have that transaction declined, um, or you can choose to have it authorized. You know, and if it does authorize it, it'll withdraw the account, allowing you to make that purchase. Um, then there, there could be overdraft fees involved with that. So you definitely do have a choice, and that's one thing um, when you do open your account. You do want to have that discussion um, with your banker so that you want to make sure you understand how that card works. That's a very good question. And there are a lot of protections you can set up though right. too. Like you can set up, you know, text alerts, like when your balance gets below, you you choose the amount that you want to send your number to. So let's say it gets below fifty dollars and you want to text, we you know the bank will send you the text and you want to know that the balance has dropped below. Um, some customers choose to and it text every time there's a, a deduction in your account, and every time there's a transaction that goes through. So there's a lot of ways you can protect yourself um, that you never have to worry about the money from the drone. There's a lot of safety features that can set up for you. All right. Earlier you had mentioned that U.S. Bank is the only bank on campus, but are there other ATMs on campus that are not affiliated with U.S. Bank? And you have to use US Bank in order to use X Cash on your all card. Um, yeah, so first first question um, on the ATMs, we do have um, seven, yeah, seven ATMs on campus uh, in total. Four of those are branded US Bank ATMs, and the other three are branded Fifth Third Bank uh, ATMs, which is another uh, big, large bank in Cincinnati area. Um, so we do have a uh, choice between those ATMs. Um, second part of the question was the um, oh, yeah, X card bank to, to use X cash. Yeah, the answer X -Cash. is no there. You can't bank with whoever you like and, um, and transfer monies from your bank account to the X account. 
Um, do you get a certain discount on or at stores slash restaurants because you are a Xavier student? Uh, you do. You, there, there is a good number of them and uh, on the uh, AllCard website, which is just xavier.edu slash AllCard, uh, we do have links there for a discount program that uh, we've put together. So uh, we've called around to many businesses around, camp, uh, around campus, around town to see uh, what level of uh, discounts they have for students. Some are just for Xavier students, some are for you know, any college age student that has an ID. Um, we've accumulated uh, as comprehensive a list as we can. We try to keep keep up with that and post it on our all our website as a reference for you so you can go check it out and see what those businesses are. So yeah, there is some value to cheaper we need to uh, so we have a very good question here um, from Jim. So Jim said, Do I understand this correctly? I have a US bank debit card slash ATM set up for my all card. I will have three different balances of funds tied to my all card. First, my checking account balance. Second, my ex cash account balance. Third, my dining dollars balance. If this is correct, if so, how do I direct from which balanced funds are taken from for a transaction? Yeah, that's a great question. The answer is yes. Um, if, if you do uh, choose to, if you're a US bank customer and you do tie your card to your all card, that is the third account. The dining dollars and the ex cash are campus accounts. Um, so yeah, you could potentially have up to three accounts. Um, the systems on campus, uh, for the most part, are um, programmed to know which one to take it out of. So the dining dollars one I had mentioned is a food restricted um, plan. So uh, our vending machines know not to take that. So if you swipe your card at a vending machine, it's going to automatically come out of your ex cash. So if you don't have any, it's not going to do anything for you because it's not going to take it out of your dining dollars. It's not allowed. Uh, on the other hand, if you go to a dining location that takes both, uh, it will take your dining dollars first um, because it is exclusive to dining and dining dollars actually have a uh, expiration date to them at the end of the school year. So it's going to make sure that your dining location takes all of your available dining restricted, um, limited ex expiration date kind of money away before it uses your, your next cash. So it will we'll know which one to take. Uh, and then, as Barb mentioned, if there's a transaction uh, that that um, has to do with your bank account, then it will be a pin-based transaction. So if you do go to the bookstore um, and if you want to take it out of your checking account, then you would swipe it through, choose debit, and put in your pin number. So any pin-based transaction for sure would be the bank. And there are some students who will say if they have multiple dollars in multiple accounts, they may pick and choose which account they want at that time. So you can walk up to any on-campus eater and say, can you take out of this out of my ex-cash rather than dining dollars? Sure, yeah. You can certainly have dialogue with the cashier, mm -hmm. but um, you can also know that you, you don't have to. Right. The systems are pretty intelligent. You know, and if you desire to. Yes. Right. And I know you mentioned this, but can you briefly just say again how you can add ex-cash to your all card and is there a charge for replacing an all card? Um, yeah, so the, the ways to add X cash to the all card would be um, most convenient way would be using the online website or uh, local uh, web to uh, add a credit card online. Second, you can use one of the three transfer kiosks on campus. You can do either a credit card or a cash deposit at those kiosks. Or, um, worst case scenario, we can certainly take in a check through the mail uh, from, uh, from mom and dad. We can do one of a uh, uh, phone. Phone deposit credit card in the phone to our office. It's going to work for straight line. Oh, lost card replacement fee is $20, um, and that's done out of the all card center. Um, so, if you open a US bank account, do you receive a debit card as well as the functionality on the all card, or is that two separate processes that a student has to go through? It's your choice. So I can say that probably 50% of the students choose to have both the debit card and their all card attached, and then about 50% of them just use strictly the all card as their debit card. So it's, it's your choice. Can you get cash out locally from an ex cash account? No. So uh, I mentioned before the, the ex cash account is uh, not a bank account. So uh, don't 
think of it as uh, putting value in X cash and taking cash out. Think of it as putting value in X cash so that you don't need to have cash on campus and all your spending needs are taken care of in a cashless uh, manner. Um, X cash, um, the, the only times to get it, so if, if you deposit with X cash um, and never use it and then you withdraw or you graduate, then we certainly give you everything back. It's not to be used as a bank account where you can make a deposit um, and make a withdrawal. Um, I think the intention is to be able to securely transfer money so that you have uh, your basic needs taken care of on campus. Um, is the picture on the all card supposed to be similar to that of a passport picture? So would, would it have the same guidelines? Yeah, yeah, very similar. So we're looking for um, no straight on view of your face, um, no no hats, no sunglasses. Um, but you're allowed to smile, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's encouraged. <laughs> yes. We want you to be happy, you want to pull the card out, show all your friends how cool the card looks, and uh, ideally you want to have a picture of them to do that. So send us your best. Um, like I said, the Road to Xavier um, upload page uh, has about uh, seven or eight bullet points uh, kind of guiding you on uh, what, what that uh, photo should be. Yeah, very similar to the school. It doesn't have to be that, you know, cut and dry. Right. It could be far. Yeah. All right, how long is the transfer period between bank and all card? Transfer something from your bank to the other. Right, right. If you're doing it online, it's easy. Yeah, the values in your XCash account can't be. Perfect. Okay. okay. Uh, now, can you go over the difference between dining dollars and the X Cash account, and then how does the All Card know which one to use? So, yeah, the, the difference between the dining dollars and the X Cash is um, one: the dining dollars is only going to be accepted in food locations, so our retail food operations and the dining hall will take dining dollars. X Cash um, can also be used in those retail food locations. But it can be used for everything else as well. So, of all other non food retail, bookstore, uh, post office, um, some library fees on campus, um, vending, copying, laundry, all that stuff. X Cash can do it all. $90 is food only. Um, food doesn't mean snacks on the snack machine. Uh, there's also, the, uh, also another difference is um, $90 expire at the end of the academic year in May. So at the end of finals week, if you have dining dollars left, you can lose them so you want to play it out um, using all of your dining dollars before May. Whereas with X Cash, um, there is no expiration date. If you have money left in your X Cash in May, it will the same amount will be there for you at the end of the summer when you return for the next week. So there is no expiration where dining dollars does have and how much is laundry? So can the U.S. bank account be linked to Apple Pay? Yes. Okay. Um, and then is there a fee to load the X card um, at the transfer station with a credit card? There, uh, that's a good question. There is, there is not a fee. So when you add to your X cash, either online or at the transfer kiosk, it looks like a uh, regular retail point of sale transaction. It doesn't look like a cash advance or anything like that. We might see some special processing fees. It doesn't look like that at all. It just looks like you're purchasing something from Xavier and you're purchasing uh, stored value. So there's no, no extra fees. Okay. Um, and then Missy is wondering at the kiosk, can you use a debit card from a bank other than US Bank to add money to your all card? Yes, great question. If you can use a uh, debit card from another bank, um, the uh, caveat though is that it's not going to be handled as a debit transaction. So there'll be no 
the, uh, the transfer kiosks don't have a base debit. So if your debit card has a Visa or MasterCard logo on it, then, then yes, it can be used at that transfer kiosk. And it will be handled uh, as a credit transaction out of your uh, bank. Um, and then one student is wondering if international students are eligible to open an account at US Bank of America. All right, if you're doing work study, can your payroll be added to your X card or does that money have to go uh, into your bank card? Yeah, yeah. I, I wish. I would, we, we've been lobbying that for years and years, but uh, yeah, no, the, the money is uh, from your uh, work study would be uh, linked to a bank account. So you have to transfer that to your bank account. Unfortunately, you can't send that right to So um, I've heard both speakers say that I can transfer money from my non-U.S. bank account to the L card. How can I do that? Uh, you would do that um, either online using a, a Visa or MasterCard branded card from your, your bank. So if you bank with Chase, for example, if you have a Chase issued uh, Visa debit card, you can use you can use that card either online or at that or one of the three transfer kiosks on campus um, to transfer money directly out of that Chase account to your extension. It's got to be a Visa or a MasterCard branded uh, debit card from your bank account. And there's a link to that site online. So if you type in all card, it should pop up or auxiliary services or anything. Um, and that being said, I'm going to have to count the students since I graduated from here and I was one. One of the best birthday gifts, uh, since if you are from out of town and your parents aren't able to come in town for your birthday or go home, is to have your parents just maybe send you $100 or $200 for your birthday. They can send you X cash and you can use it anywhere. Um, so that's something that, that you could do. <laughs> right, right. Exactly, exactly. Um, but next question. So I uploaded my picture of my all card already on Road to Xavier, but if the picture is not able to be used for whatever reason, will I be notified of that? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we are we check the um, the uh, photos every day. Um, when we come in on Monday, we check things for the weekend, and um, yeah, we do take a good hard look at it. Um, we just again, we just want you to be happy with it. So if we if you send in a photo, and for whatever reason, the, the quality of it was. Um, or whether it's lighting or resolution or what have you, and we're just not comfortable that you're going to be happy with it, we, we will let you know that we couldn't use it for whatever reason and give you the opportunity. So yeah, I expect to see it in email. We, we don't email if it's good, uh, but we will email you if it's not able to use it. Um, and then what happens to leftover XCash at the end of the year? Um, leftover ex cash at the end of the year um, remains intact um, through the entire summer with no fees or anything like that. And every penny of that is there for you when you get back to the next year. So if it is your last year for whatever reason, again, you're withdrawing or graduating, um, then you can uh, request uh, your full balance back. Now I'm going to ask two questions combined into one. One, can you take the all card into the city and pay with it at any store as you would a normal bank card? And are there any discounts at stores in the city with your all card? Uh, the first uh, part of that question would be um, if you had the bank account feature linked to it and uh, they were able to take good base debit, then yes, you would be able to use your all card to go to thousands or tens of thousands of retailers worldwide and swipe your card, put in your PIN number, and have the money come right out of your bank account to this bank. Um, Xcash, um, no, it's just a few local merchants uh, here. Next is Xavier, and uh, second half of that um, Does your all-card offer any discounts at any yeah, place? Yes, yeah. so there, there, are, there are some discounts. So even if we can't uh, use your all-card to pay, so if you don't bank with U.S. Bank, Type of bank account, and that retailer doesn't take X cash either. It may be a retailer that does still give some kind of discount. So, again, we've got about uh, I think 80 or 90 businesses on our website that we know of um, that provide discounts when you just show your card, not necessarily have to pay. All right. 
All right, guys. Well, it is nine o'clock. Um, so we have spent an hour together this evening. Um, I hope that for all of you out there that have joined us, um, that this was helpful and informational for you. Um, again, we, we apologize for the technical difficulties and we appreciate your patience, um, you know, sticking with us for the hour. Um, we will, as always, have this session recorded um, and have that posted on the road to Xavier for you. Um, so if you had any issues listening to anything this evening, um, you should be able to hear that a little bit better um, tom by tomorrow afternoon at the very latest. Um, so thank you very much for a wonderful host this evening. Uh, we appreciate you joining us. Um, and then we know we have additional questions out there um, that we were unable to answer this evening. Um, so if anyone has any additional questions that you, know, you really are dying to get the answer to, um, don't hesitate to um, contact either of our hosts um, or myself or Evan. Um, you should have our email addresses in the confirmation email for the Muskie chat and just let us know how we can help you out in the future. Uh, well, so I guess we'll wrap it up and have a great evening. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you soon.